Continuing our breaking news coverage of that act of terror in New York City, eight people are dead in a deliberate attack after a truck plows through people on a bike path. And here's a look at the suspect identified as Saifulo Saipov, a 29-year-old originally from Uzbekistan, now living in Tampa, Florida, running away from the scene. Then a short time later, on the ground, as police took him into custody. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Many questions remain tonight, including the motive. As is often the case after attacks like this, we all wonder why someone would deliberately aim to harm all of those people. CBS 2's Suzanne LeMignot has been monitoring the breaking details all afternoon for us. Suzanne. Rob, Erica, you know, with events like this this afternoon, reached all the way to the White House with President Donald Trump calling the attacker, in his words, a very sick and deranged person. Now cities across the country, including Chicago, are taking another look at security in the aftermath of this tragedy. I want to ask all New Yorkers, all Americans, to keep the families of those lost in your thoughts and prayers. Once again, New York grieves following a horrific terrorist attack. The weapon used today, an apparent rented truck. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. The driver left the road, heading down a bike path, hitting several people. Mangled bikes litter a wide area. The aftermath of an apparent lone wolf terrorist. It reminds us all how precious life is. Right after the horror, a man runs from the scene. A short time later, police hovered over a suspect, who sources say is 29-year-old Sapulo Sapov. His last known address, Tampa, Florida. A whole bunch of customers started running past me. A whole bunch of people came running past my way, yelling, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. After plowing over everything in his path, witnesses say they heard gunfire. Investigators now say the driver's weapons were not even real. The driver of the truck, a 29-year-old male, exited the vehicle brandishing two handguns. A uniformed police officer assigned to the first precinct confronted the subject and shot him in the abdomen. The subject was wounded and transported to a local hospital. A paintball gun and a pellet gun were recovered at the scene. Now, security is always tight in New York, of course. Tonight, even tighter. The annual Greenwich Village Halloween Parade will still go on as usual with heavily armed police visible to everyone. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.